Hello everyone, good day. We are Group 3 from UKQT3001, Extracurricular Experiential Learning Section 19. This is our group video presentation. Now let's get started. Our group members included Yushni Gandhi Rajan, Chuan Hong Liang, Yang Sheng Yi, Yao Jiayin, and me, Fu Yu. Next, I will introduce the main content of our group video presentation. Our group video presentation mainly consists of 11 parts. The first part is organization chart. The second part is about the program. The third part is weakness among UTM students and the relationship between weakness and graduate attributes. The fourth part is goals and objectives. And the fifth part is to get participants. Next, the sixth part is guests. The seventh part is our activity schedule. The eighth part is activity budget. The next part is monitoring and evaluation. The tenth part is importance of the suggestion. The 11th part is conclusion. First, let me introduce the organization chart of our program. Our program this time consists of five positions. The first position is our program director, which is held by Yang Sheng Yi. The second position is our deputy director in charge of the activity, which is held by Chen Hong Liang. The third position is deputy director in charge of the administration, which is held by Yushni Gardi Rajan. The fourth position is deputy director in charge of logistics and technical, which is held by Yao Jiayin. The fifth position is deputy director in charge of publicity, which is held by Fu Yu. Hi, my name is Yao Jiayin, and now I'm going to talk about the detail about the program. The name of our program is Be a Young Entrepreneur, and it will be held on 2nd June 2023. Our group have decided to organize a young entrepreneur speaking to the student in an attempt to align with the UTM graduate attributes that support the growth of holistic students' experience before the students step out to their career path. The core objective of the program is to strengthen the entrepreneurial and critical thinking skills of UTM students. Essentially, our program will invite a successful young entrepreneur to speak about his career path and achievement. Our guest will discuss his entrepreneurial experience, including how he got started as a business owner, the obstacles and setbacks that he had along the way, and how he overcame the rigid circumstances. In addition to that, the guest will go through with the students how to begin with the process of starting a business from the very beginning, as well as all the information related to the development of a business. At the end of the program, there will be a Q&A section in which students are given the opportunity to interact with the speaker directly if they have any doubt. Now, I will present our third part, weakness among UTM students and the relationship between weakness and graduate attributes. For our Young Entrepreneur Sharing Talk program, we prepared a story form and collected 30 responses. According to the results of the story form, we found that 60% of the students had participated in such a Young Entrepreneur Sharing Talk program, but 40% of the students had not participated. At the same time, all the students expressed great interest in joining our Young Entrepreneur Sharing Talk program. Not only that, for our program, we also collected a lot of suggestions on how to improve our program. For example, held in an interesting place, provide interactive film session, and offer some activities such as quiz or group activity. It is very important for UTM students to have good graduate attributes. However, according to the results of the survey form, there are many graduate attributes that are the weaknesses of the students. The top three weakest graduate attribute skills are 76.7% of the students have communication skills weakness, 66.7% of the students have interpreting skills weakness, 63.3% of the students have thinking skill weakness. Further, I'm going to talk about the goal and objective of these activities. First is to build a community and learning culture. It will help to update things and expanding resources with additional updates and information related to the required skills to be a successful entrepreneur. And it also helps to getting exposed to different skill sets and know-how from experts can help students stay motivated. The second point is communicate important information quickly. Knowledge sharing helps get feedback and help from those professionals with expertise and experience. And students are able to reduce the skill gap because it creates an environment where everyone feels comfortable asking questions and makes all information accessible. The third point is clear constraints. It is an efficient and effective way to avoid unnecessary constraints and mistakes are less likely to be repeated when doing business. 
It also assists in increasing productivity, refine and improve business processes through shared input. The last point is inspired from the experiences of the experts. It will help to generate clear path by listening to the experts' successes and failures, which may inspire the student to engage in entrepreneurships and also improve students' abilities and boost their confidence. Uh, and next, let me introduce the target participants for our program, and we are based to all UTM students, especially final year students. Um, we also invited the University Career Development Center to promote the activity and uh, involve students who are actively seeking entrepreneurial opportunity or guidance. Uh, at the same time, we also even carry students who have started their own business or are working on an entrepreneurial project. And next for invited guests, um, we invited a young entrepreneur, Mr. Gary Chen. He's 28 years old and graduated from Harvard University two years ago. And Mr. Gary Chen is currently the CEO of Food Tiger, and he's passionate about technology and innovation and studied Food Tiger with the university. Thank you, Shengi. My name is Hong Leong, and I'm continuing the presentation on the activity schedule. First, on 7:30 a.m. until 7:45 a.m., the crew set up the PS system and live stream the event to Facebook. The receptionist start by welcoming the guests and students. After that, from 7:45 a.m. until 8 a.m., the crew play the national anthem Ngaraku and song by the attendees, followed by the Johor host that anthem Lagu Bangsa Johor and the UTM anthem. From 8 a.m. until 8:10 a.m. We did opening ceremony by the program director and University Technology Malaysia representative. From 8 10 a.m. until 9 a.m., we did ice breaking session among participants through online business quiz and fun games. While from 9 a.m. until 10 30 a.m., sharing session by Mr. Gary Chen, CEO of Food Tiger Group Health. And finally, from 10 30 a.m. until 12 p.m., we did a photo session and have meal for lunch. The financial statement is as follows for revenue, cash EP allocation for 1,200 ringgit, FM allocation for 400 ringgit, sponsorship by sponsor for 1,400 ringgit, and the total revenue will be 3,000 ringgit. The expenditure are as follows, where foods for 1,800 ringgit, beverage for 600 ringgit, guest token for 300 ringgit, and bus transportation for 300 ringgit, and the total expenditure will be 3,000 ringgit. Total net profit from the event is 0 ringgit. I'm going to present about monitoring. Firstly, carry out another survey at the conclusion of the program and study the result before and at the event. Secondly, hold meetings gradually to discuss and share ideas for the program and get an update on the progress of preparation and implementation. Third point is, motivate the participants to behave confidently and push themselves to grow as professionals. Fourth point is evaluate the program's result while offering suggestion, suggestions for future development. Thank you. For evaluation, participants will evaluate from three characteristics such as communication skills, thinking skills, and enterprising skills. Monitor the skills on closely for communication skills, able to actively listen by, understand, appreciate, and empathize with another person. Then, able to communicate confidently with another person. Second characteristic is thinking skills. Capable of analyzing a problem and determining potential fixes. Then, able to make right decisions that involve choosing between various choices. Third characteristic is enterprising skills. First point is able to spot responsibilities and be driven to assist them by being resourceful, independent and driven. Thank you. Importance of a suggestion where it is important to equip students with critical thinking skill, entrepreneurship skill, and communication skill. It's important also for team building skill as students are able to understand the importance of bonding during the business take place. Lastly, I'm going to present about conclusion. First point is we hope that this program will be successful in enhancing students' graduate attribute value. We can accomplish our goal because our strategy roughly follows our plan. Second point is, 
graduate performance is characteristic of the student will advance concurrently through this program in accordance with the subject's wish. My third point is a positive personality and attitude are displayed by university students when this program is run because they are representative of UTM students. My fourth point is hopefully this program can make aspiration for participants to dream bigger for their future. Thank you.